Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I'm making an update video on the Brickmania Kit F117A Nighthawk and the reason I'm doing this video is I had a couple requests asking me uh, to show how I did modify this no section here. Um, I, did mod I did some modifications to the no section because I did, didn't really like the way the original kit looked like but uh, while building um, the set, I also found there was an issue with the original build instructions and I kind of want to go over that as well. And again, just kind of give a quick look on how I modified uh, my kit. Uh, this modification is quite simple, there's not too, com too much of a complexity to it and you probably can do it with uh, just a couple additional uh, parts. So let's get into what exactly was going on with this uh, kit. This is the first batch of uh, Brickmania F117A kits. So I think, or well, I'm hoping, uh, Brickmania has fixed this issue uh, for batch two. But um, again, based on the first batch, I had one issue while building uh, this no section. And uh, the main issue was when you build the no section right here, and this is the instructions, uh, I guess the manual on how you build the no section right over here and this is how it is you're supposed to put it right on the tip in the front but the problem is um, this no, no section does not properly fit in the front and in order to make it fit based on the original instructions for this batch one again this is batch one issue at least that was an issue for me you would just have to add this one little one by two plate Sorry about that. Um, and it's you basically just add it right here. You basically add it at the bottom of this part. So now you have it right here, and at the bottom of this, you add this one by two plate, which I have it in black. So you put it at the bottom, and then you can with no problem fit the notes as it's supposed to be done per instructions. So that's being said, when I did this originally, and here you go, here's the picture. I'm gonna attach it here. This is how it looks like originally. I did not like the profile view of this plane. I thought it looked a little bit um, not accurate, especially with the angles. Look at it again, just from profile view. You can look at it from different angles and you can see something different. Just, was, just wasn't um, something I was liking. So what I decided to do, I decided to give a little bit of a modification to make it look the way I want it to look. As again, this is Lego and you can play with it and modify it as you wish. So let's get to the modification that I made. Again, if you don't want to make that modification, the original fix for batch one kits can be done just with this one, one by two plate. Now let's get into modification that I made. So for that, I will show you what I've done. For that, you do need, again, this one by two plate, but you also will be needing a two by four plate. And let me go ahead. This is, this is already on the stand. I'll be really careful with it. I don't want to mess with it too much. As again, this has already been assembled and been put on the stand. Now to make this modification first, you have to update this section. And that's done really easily. So instead of putting this together, per instructions, like you have it here, all you need to do is you take the same pieces and you just flip them upside down, invert them, and put it up here. This pieces right here, this corner cheese slopes, you already have them in the build of a nose. So you're really not adding anything here. I did add it one by two at the bottom, but you don't have to do that. So those can be added later. Now what you see here, you see here is again the same parts used in an original build per instructions and I've added them there because underneath those you do have this piece right here in white and so if you don't want those to be standing out or be visible through the gaps of this build you don't want to cover this up so what I used is I use one by two so you put that in the back on top of those white pieces then you add 
and again, you those is already part of your nose build, so you're not adding any more of your new of your personal parts except this one by two plate. And this is what you do. So you put that in the back, that way it covers the white section, that way you don't have to look at this. So essentially, this is what's been done here. So once you got that white portion covered up, this is the nose part itself. Again, you are using all the same pieces for the nose build, except you're just flipping them around. One thing you do have to add from your personal collection, again, so it's one by four, and this is it. This is the one by four that I have used. So all those pieces that you see here, you just build them the way I have them here. So you have this two by four, you have all those cheese slopes that you have, and you have this right here. Um, this is the piece, that's what it looks like. Again, this is part of the building instructions. Very simple update. All the parts are in here on page 32 of the manual. So once you flip this side, you fix the back side, cover the white, white section, once you built this, again, this is only about six pieces in here. Uh, once, just a quick tip, once you're building this part in the back, remove this section. It's also very easily removed and attached back. That should be not a problem at all. So just remove this. We have this uh, floor radar section, just remove that part. But that won't be a problem. And again, here we go. Attaching the nose back in here. And this is what it looks like. And this is the look I get from the profile. And for me, this looks a bit more accurate to the actual aircraft. Again, maybe the angles could be a little bit better, but then this is how Brickmania designed it and built it. And this is what we have to work with. Overall, I don't think it looks too bad. You do get a little bit of a gap here. If you don't like that, again, stick to the original build, pair Brickmania. I don't mind this. This is not a problem. Nothing can be seen. The plane is pretty black, so any kind of gaps, you don't really see them. All right, so this is not a short video as I hope it was, but I hope this was helpful enough if you do want to make the same modification side as I did. And again, hopefully some of this first batch issues are going to be fixed with the second batch that Brickmania will release. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.